Hello everyone. Hey, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, it's Thursday afternoon. We're back at the corporate offices, AKA my house. And what are we doing today? Well, today we have a little different project. Wanted to do a little prepping for the upcoming winter months uh, after the historic Texas winter storms back in February of 2021. Uh, we lost power for several days. And I tell you what, you think you're prepared with candles and stuff like that, but you can never be totally prepared or prepped, if you will. So going into fall this year, I'm making sure we got some things ready. So what are we doing? Well, today I received a FedEx package and in the FedEx package was some of the old lanterns, as I call them, like the railroad lanterns when you used to see the conductor on the railroad, he was always carrying these around. Some people call them a hurricane lantern because when the globe is in the down position, like this right here, the wind will not affect and blow the, the flame out. So, uh, so okay, so why did I get some of these? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like a candle. Candle does the same thing, but a lantern is kind of nice because you can carry it around, you can hang it in various places. Uh, I ordered like six of these. I'm a little bit disappointed. They seem to be very well made and very original. These are the Lamp Light brand, which is uh, the original oil lamp, according to what they have to say about it. It's just a little bit smaller than what I imagined. I really thought they were gonna be a little bit taller, a little bit more substance. Maybe there's different sizes and shame on me, I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, I picked up like six of these. I got three in black and three in red. The red ones are uh, supposed to arrive later this week. But my thought process is, hey, look, if we have a winter storm and we lose power for 48 hours or something like that, it's kind of hard to walk around with a candle. Uh, you know, of course we've got flashlights and LED lights and things, but I thought it would be nice to have some of these in the house just from an ambiance standpoint. And also, uh, you know, take some down to the farm so I could have, keep a few at the farmhouse could keep some here at this house. So I ordered some lamp oil. I ordered, I think, five gallons of this stuff. That should be enough to keep me going for a little while. Uh, and I've also heard you can use vegetable oil and there's all kinds of YouTube videos on alternative fuels that you can burn. But this original design has been around forever. So let's take a look at it real quick. So you have a glass globe. Down here is the container where you actually put your oil in. You got this opening right here. I didn't have a funnel that small, so I, I just used this small little pouring cup or measuring cup, filled it up, put it in here. So they say you need to wait about 15 minutes to allow the oil to penetrate the wick. This little adjustment right here, if you can see that, is the wick adjustment. And the more you turn it, the higher the wick goes. And then the less you turn it, you can get it down there to a decent level. So when you get ready to light it, it's got this little lever right here. And if you pull that over, you can see it's got that little indention. What that allows you to do is to get underneath here to actually light the wick. So let's see how this works. Got a little light stick here. Hey, looky there. Once you get it lit, you let the globe back down. And then you actually turn the wick down to control the size of the flame. Look at that. That's pretty freaking cool, man. Feel like I'm going back to the stone ages. So look at this. So it's got the nice outer handle right here. It's got a little indention. So if you had a nail or something, you know, on a porch, you could set this on the porch. You also have a little uh, hook right here if you wanted to use that. I tell you what, I can actually feel the heat coming off of this thing. It puts off a lot more heat than I anticipated it would. But pretty cool. So we're getting ready for winter around here, man. We got my generator ready to go. And uh, you know, shame on me. I, the winter storms definitely taught me I should be a little bit more prepared for when uh, stuff goes wrong. I've also been, uh, you know, looking around at various YouTube channels. And yeah, I tell you what, you need to do some prepping, man. There, you just don't know when you're gonna need something. And I'm not talking about going off the deep end and everything, but you know, you need to be prepared with essentials, you know, matches gasoline, uh, diesel, you know, if you got a generator, have it in working condition, uh, medicines, I mean, water, you can't live without water. Uh, think about all your canned foods and things like that. You know, 
just a good time of the year to kind of reflect and get ready. But this is what I did. So uh, I'll come back in here at the end of the video tonight. I'll wait till it gets dark and I'll kind of show you a little clip like uh, what it looks like in the hallway of my house or some dark area to kind of see how much light this puts off. But I'm actually amazed. It puts off a little bit of heat, which is kind of nice because, you know, if you're without power like we were for three or four days and it's below freezing, hey, anything you can get helps. So, uh, all right, guys, there you go. Now, what I haven't figured out is how to actually turn this thing off. Hmm, I'm assuming you can raise the wick back up. And there you go. You just blow the flame out and then uh, you're off to the races. So that is pretty cool. I feel like I'm going back in time, man, to a simpler time when things were really simple. So hey, if you don't have any of these, go out to Amazon, buy you some oil lamps. I'm not saying it's the ultimate answer, but it's a tool in your tool bag. And you know, I think you should have some oil lamps. I think you should have flashlights. I think you should have candles you know, a combination of things to use. But this would be pretty cool if you needed to walk around the house or if you needed to go outdoors or something at night. Uh, just a great little way to have some uh, light and electricity, uh, not electricity, but have some <laughs> lights in an area where you may need them. Uh, so anyway, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I strongly recommend it. As winter comes along, I'll be doing a few more videos showing you some things that we're doing around here to get ready. And I uh, hope you guys find it enjoyable. And uh, hey. Hey guys, here we are. We're giving uh, the lantern a little uh, test. So I'm in the hallway of my house just because it's dark. Ooh. You can kind of see uh, how the lantern works. I'm kind of impressed with it. So I'll show you something here. This is pretty cool. I like this. So this is in the hallway of our house. Little vinyl message. And uh, my wife picked this out and it's pretty cool. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118, 24. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, guys. Hey, thought I'd just take a second and show you these little... Uh, railroad lanterns or hurricane lanterns whatever you want to call them i'm digging it man i like it i like it a lot hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh hey get you some of these they're well worth it thanks hey guys all right i got my second shipment of uh lanterns in these are hurricane lanterns these are a little bit larger than the ones I had before, and they're made by a company called Transport. Same design as the uh, ones I got earlier that were, what are these? I can't even remember what the brand name was on those, but you can see a little bit larger. I think these were like 10 inch, those are 12 inch. Uh, lanterns, hurricane lanterns, uh, railroad lanterns, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, just happy to have them. So we got a total of six of them now. If we lose power or electricity, at least we'll have some light in addition to the candles and other things that we have to use. So just wanted to show you guys those. But hey, if you're not ready for the next power outage, I definitely suggest you pick some of these up. All right, guys. And, uh, hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You can uh, leave us a comment, ring the bell, share. Please sign up. Anything you can do helps our channel grow. We greatly appreciate it and would love to hear from you. Uh, more than willing to come by and check out your channel as well. Uh, can't tell you how many YouTube friends I've made over the years and really enjoy those relationships. So, uh, hey, as always, glory be to God. And, hey, it's always best to be prepared for bad situations. So, uh, guys, get on board. Get ready. You just never know what's going to happen. Thanks.